Hi, welcome to this edition of Conversations with Claris. Today we have Chris Bentonville with us here today. And what we're gonna discuss and talk a little bit about is what we hear out in the marketplace. I think it's out there pretty prevalent now is sustainability investing. So Chris, give us a little bit of idea about sustainability investing. Yeah, thank you, Stan. So ESG investing or environmental social governance, uh, like you said, Stan, it is something that is becoming more and more common. We're hearing you know, from our clients, from investors, uh, coming to us asking about it, as well as they're hearing about it more and more, uh, wondering about what it is. Um, and you know, that's mainly being driven by you know, demand. You know, it used to be very much a niche you know, area of the market. Absolutely. It was driven by these you know, very specialized fund companies with you know, much more limited availability and options. Um, but as you know, it's becoming something that more and more people are looking to really align their personal values uh, with their investing dollars, uh, more and more major fund companies uh, are coming out with products, uh, and there's a lot more of them available to you, which has you know a few key takeaways and a few you know issues or things to be aware of within that. Is that as you know, it's always good with more options and, and a lot more out there for people. But with that, um, it's still new enough, right? We're in this transitionary period, you know, from that niche to more commonplace. Right. And we have been for a few years. We're probably still gonna be uh, for a while. That you know, there's not necessarily a lot of common, you know metrics out there or, or nomenclature when it comes to these products and, and these things and what their purpose is. So for people to kind of sift through all that and determine really how, you know, these funds are being operated or, or if they're actually going to, you know, align with their personal sure. values or meet it, you know, is harder uh, because you have all these things like ethical investing and impact investing, right. you know, that socially responsible investing, they're all called something slightly different and even a you know, sustainable fund and from one company could be, you know, managed or retargeting something completely different, you know, than another. Uh, so figuring out, you know, how they still match with someone's personal values is, is the first large thing that, you know, someone has to, to overcome when looking at investing in these products. And then I think the other kind of big basic point or, or something to kind of be aware of with these is looking at, like I mentioned before, you know, this is being driven by demand, really. You know, more and more people are looking to invest this way, but it's not necessarily being driven by the fund companies like a lot of other funds have in the past where it is in pursuit of higher expected returns. Right. These aren't necessarily, you know, gonna go hand in hand with this. You know, this social governance, you know, environmental social governance investing isn't, you know, necessarily a factor of investing like the evidence has shown and like we've seen with you know, value outperforming growth over time, small outperforming large. Right. Um, it, it's something completely different. Uh, and as this kind of market matures, you know, those return characteristics and those risk characteristics are going to adapt and change as well right. as it becomes more, you know, as people like to think more and more prevalent, uh, more people choose to invest this way, it's going to change, you know, these companies that adhere to these, you know, environmental, social, you know, governance right. guidelines are going to become less risky. That's going to change the dynamic. So, you know, the short-term expected returns are going to vary from the long-term future right. expected returns. Right. So the way we kind of see it is it really is, if you're going to invest this, it, it's investing with the idea and the knowledge that it is just aligning personal values and you're investing in this manner, not necessarily with, you know, chasing different expected returns or where you think things are going to go, but really doing it to align your values with the companies and try and match your dollars with companies you agree with or exclude those that you don't you know or do anything yeah i think chris that's probably the biggest takeaway when we talk about this is that it really has to align with their values that's why they're investing that's why they want to get in one of these funds uh there is a lot of data out there we'll see what happens with the expected returns over time the evidence and the factual stuff will, will maybe show up but for right now, I don't think you can take that as, as a big cog or a big piece of why you're doing it. It really just has to be this alliance with me personally and, and, and my thoughts and my values. So appreciate all the information. Thanks for joining us. Uh, until next time.